Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Every product that I use in this video is going to be $15 or less. I'm gonna put the price of each and everything on the screen. And just in case you were wondering, this is the total of how much the makeup costs me to create this makeup look. You may be looking at me like, wow, Fortune, this is a very different look than what we're used to seeing you upload. Well, that, my friends, is because I am inspired by the show Euphoria. If you don't watch Euphoria, it is a show on HBO. It is for a more mature audience, 15 or under. I don't suggest watching the show. Mike gave me the tip to make the disclaimer, but if you were of age, which most of my audience here on YouTube is, then if you have not seen the show, you should definitely see it. It's on HBO. It's really great. Zendaya is the lead character and she may be one of the producers, but I'm not totally sure. But ever since watching that show, I've come away from every episode so inspired by the makeup. The makeup artists are amazing and I love each and every look. So I am gonna be doing a Euphoria makeup series. I'm going to be recreating the looks from the TV show and all the different characters and I'm gonna dress up like them. It's gonna be fun. I, I feel like it's gonna be a good time. So if you watch the show, I hope you're as excited as I am. But this one was inspired by the show. No one on the show has worn a makeup look like this, so this is my own take on my own Euphoria makeup. Just a reminder, if you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you, and also be sure to click on that bell button. This way you get a notification each and every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. Without further ado, let's stop babbling. I am so excited to show you guys how I created this look, and let's get on to my Euphoria $15 and under drugstore makeup inspired video. I tried to dress the part tried to wear some matty hoops although personally i always wear hoops so that's really a me thing not so much a matty thing i'm not sure if i can find these earrings but i will try my best and i will link everything down below and this is just a cute hair clip with some three stars because you know i'm trying to go for a vibe here i'm trying to get in the mood we're gonna go a little creative with our makeup today as you know i always like to make sure we are on the same page so i simply wash my face in the shower using my Dermalogica facial cleanser and I have nothing else on. I'm gonna use some drugstore products that I have that are under $15. So I'm gonna hydrate my face first and foremost, always important, using the Pond's Dry Skin Cream. All these products are amazing. I've used them several times before, so this is not a first impression. This is kind of like my favorite, definitely my favorite products that I gravitate towards on any given day. And I don't own any eye cream that is under $15, so I'm just taking a little extra moisturizer and focusing it in the areas around my eyes. Because you know, a lot of people say that face moisturizer and eye cream are the same. So we're just gonna go with that. Make sure to hydrate the neck. NYX Pump It Up Lip Plumper. I'm sure you guys have heard about this a billion times. If you watch my videos, you definitely have. And it's gonna plump them up and hydrate them so that they're nice and juicy and ready for when we go in with our lipstick. Wet n Wild Dewy Luminous. This is the Photo Focus Face Primer. Just a little bit. The Pond's Cream is pretty heavy, so I don't wanna go too crazy with the layers on my face, cause you guys know I will sweat them off. And I'm just putting this all over the face. If you are oily, I would put a matte primer down the center of my face. But honestly, today, I don't really feel like being too matte, and I don't really feel like being too luminous, so we're going to be using some powder. So for me, I'm dry enough in the sense that I don't need to mattify the T-zone. I can just throw some powder on over my foundation once I'm done. I have been using this for the longest time. I did a Wet n Wild video a while ago and discovered this, and I have used it since, and that was like, I want to say over a year ago. L'Oreal Infallible Up to 24 Hour foundation. I am in the shade 440. Good number. Fours are my lucky number if you don't know. I'm going to take one pump and I've been loving just putting my foundation on this pan because I'm taking one pump because I'm sick of leaving the home and like going to dinner with Mike or like going to run errands somewhere and having foundation all over my hands. Like so this has been my happy medium. Now I know you guys are going to hate me but I'm going to be using like my normal brushes. Most of my brushes in general are pretty affordable. I'll steer clear from my higher end brushes, but I'm not including them in the 15 or under, sorry. JH03, this is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill. And I'm just like pressing this into the skin and then like stippling it. So it's like a press and a bounce. Make sure you get the neck and the jaw. 
and this foundation goes a long way so if you have a small face like I kind of have a small face you can probably get away with like one just one pump and it also depends on the amount of coverage that you want this is buildable you can make this I'd say like medium to full and I know I just said one pump was probably gonna be enough but I kind of want to apply more of this with the sponge I kind of like a sponge finish so I'm gonna take one more pump of this my eco tool sponge I don't know if this is under $15 but it does come in a set this one I use for my foundation and then this one I use for my concealer. It gets in there a little bit tighter. This is damp. I ran it under the faucet. And then when you squeeze it, make sure that no water comes out of it. Because if water is dripping out of your beauty blender, your beauty sponge, whatever you want to call it, that means it's too wet. And that's going to break apart your, your foundation, your makeup. I'm going to bring the foundation down my neck. Okay, this is all that I'm going to do to my face right now because I do want to do my eyes and I'm a little fearful I might get some fallout. So I'm not going to move on to concealer. I'm not going to set this. We're going to do the eyes and then continue on with the face. Sometimes I feel like even when I do my eyes first, just by putting on my foundation, I get to see the contrast of the eyeshadow that I'm doing, if that makes any sense, instead of it just being on like my skin. So it gives me like a clearer picture of what the finished product is going to look like, but I just don't put concealer on underneath in case we do get fallout. I'll just go in with a Neutrogena makeup wipe and wipe it off. So I don't know if you are someone that kind of struggles with seeing the full picture, you're not sure how a color is going to look in the end of your makeup process, this is a pretty good tip that I enjoy doing. I don't really know if it's a tip. It's just like, eh, well, it's a tip. It's something that I do. Joa, this is the Precision Brow Pencil. I was obsessed with this for a really long time. I still really like it. I just kind of like the BH Cosmetics one better. And although that one is under $15, I have a BH Cosmetics like dedicated video coming. So I wanted to not use them in this video. I'm gonna bring you guys in, brush them up, do light strokes. The thing that's hard with me and my brows is that my brows are not the same shape and they don't sit the same on my face. This brow is much higher than this one, so that's like my issue when it comes to a brow. I wanna throw some concealer on my eyelids just so it cancels out any darkness that I have. So I'm throwing on concealer, but I'm just keeping it right here, and I'm gonna put some up here just to clean the brows up a little bit. And then we're gonna go in with a tinted brow gel. And I'm just rubbing this in with my finger. Take a concealer brush. This is a MAC 287. And I'm just gonna clean up the brows up here. This is the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. I love this stuff. And if you guys have been watching my channel, you guys know I'm obsessed. Essence Make Me Brow. I've talked about this so many times. You guys had to have known this was coming. This is the Eyebrow Gel Mascara, and I'm in the shade Brownie Brow. This is just going to keep the hairs in place and kick out any of that concealer that may have gotten into the brow hairs. Let's go ahead and set the lids. I'm going to be setting them with a translucent powder. Revlon Stay Matte. I've literally had this forever you can't even read what it is on top and this is just the translucent powder that they have on a fluffy shadow brush and i'm just dusting this all over the lid this is like my everyday throw it all over my lid and go but we're going to be using it as a base for our shadow today this is the alme velvet foil cream shadow and this is in the shade cupid glaze so cute and it is this super pretty pink glittery cream shadow. I'm going to put it on the back of my hand. I know I said before that I've been using this plate so that I didn't have makeup all over my hand, but I think that this product in particular applies better when you warm it up on your skin. So I'm just putting it back here and look how pretty and shiny this shade is. Oh my God. It's nuts. I'm going to take a little bit. I don't want to take too much initially. Put it on my finger. I'm going to stamp this all over the lid. Focus it on the center of the eyelid and then disperse it to the rest of the eyelid again. Now I'm going to take what's ever left on my finger and I'm going to put it into the crease and above, like literally bringing it to the brow. So we want the most pigmentation to be on the lid and then blending it up. Colab Palette Pro Eyeshadow, and this is in the shade Tropic Like It's Hot. I have used this before in a video, but I just thought this was so fun, and this kind of matches the vibe that I'm going for. 
but if you want a review on this palette because I'm not really going to talk about the palette at all and I'm not going to swatch it today because it's not about the palette it's just about the look but I will link that video above if you want the full details on this product so I'm gonna take a fluffy brush this is the glamour dolls don't know what it is but it's just a fluffy crease brush I'm gonna hop into this glittery pink at the bottom and I'm just gonna build this into the crease so I want this to really blow out and blend. So if you notice, I'm holding the end of my brush so that the product doesn't go on so precisely. It kind of just goes on dusted. We don't want any harsh lines in this. The only harsh line we're gonna want is eyeliner. I know, I'm putting on eyeliner today. Who is she? And I'm touching this like so lightly, like so lightly that it doesn't really look that different. You can just see a light definition into the crease. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, hugging it to the brow. So I'm kind of touching the brow with this shade and see how I'm bringing it on underneath the front of the brow. I have hooded eyes. I tend to bring everything up a little higher to make it look like I have more lid space than I do. But there we go. Nice and blended with a little bit of definition. Now I'm gonna grab a pencil brush. This is a M431 Morphe. And I'm gonna grab this pearly white shade up here and I'm gonna put this underneath the brow bone. I'm gonna grab another pencil brush and I'm gonna go into this super cool green fluorescent shade here in the corner of our eyes. And I'm like blending it into the lid. So I'm bringing it in. This way it looks like it belongs. And I'm bringing it underneath as well. We really want this to pop. I love this shade. And this is such a fun element. It's the perfect crease shade because it is so bright. But it's green. So it gives like that fun vibe. I want to draw like an eyeshadow wing. And then we're going to use a liquid liner to do a wing within the wing. I feel like it's going to look cool. It looks cool in my mind. I'm not so sure how it's gonna translate, but I say trust me, why not? I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna grab this red here, and I'm gonna grab that on an angled brush. This is a Mikasa E400. It's an eyebrow brush, but just grab any angled brush that looks like this. I'm gonna tap off the excess, and I'm gonna hug this to the lash line. So I'm gonna keep it really close. And I want this to be a little bit more pigmented, so I'm gonna wet this brush as well. Dampen the brush, I should say. It's not really wet. And go back in with that red, and I'm just gonna stamp the lash line up. Yup. See how much more pigmented that is? And I'm not gonna bring it in, I'm gonna stop it where that green starts. Now it's okay if your wing isn't perfect. It's not a big deal. We didn't finish off our face, so we can totally go in and fix it. But what I'm gonna do is I kinda want it to fade at the end, so I'm gonna take off any of the excess product and I'm just gonna flick it, flick what's on my eye. I just want like a blown out wing. And I kinda wanna brighten up the center of the eye, so I'm gonna grab the lightest shimmer shade in here, and I'm just gonna pat this down the center of my lid. But I'm not going to get it onto the liner, so I'm just popping that literally right here, and then pulling it across slightly. See, and that just created like a vibrant section to the middle of our eye, so it's really gonna bring attention to our pupil, it's gonna make our pupil pop. And that's exactly what I want. So I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side, Oh, I didn't even do the liner on the other side. Hello. I hate doing liner. I, <laughs> that's why I like jumped the gun. I was like, yes, I'm done with the liner. But girlfriend, you are not. So I got to do it on the other side. Okay, that's as good as it's going to get because my eyes are sad. Okay. <laughs> now let's go ahead and let's go in with the liquid liner. Jesus Lord, please help me. This is the Collab Line and Shine Metalized Liquid Eyeliner, and this is the Gold Mine shade. I'm gonna shake this up. Now we're just gonna draw a wing within this wing. I kind of like pulling it onto the base of the lashes. I don't want this to be a thick liner. I wanna be able to see that red underneath. 
These liquid liners are kind of hard to work with. You do need to dip back and forth, but I really like the tip of these. And see, it's like a wing within a wing. And it kind of makes it look like I filled in the lines, which is cool and different. See how cool that is? It's just like different. I don't know. I'm really into it. And I like playing with makeup. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. That eye went pretty well. Let's see how this eye goes. I'm just going to take my Neutrogena makeup wipe and I'm just going to clean up under here. If you need to clean up that wing, go ahead and do it. But there really wasn't any fallout from this shadow. I just wanted to do this because I had a feeling I was going to end up doing a wing. And, you know, just as a precaution because I'm not the best at them. Let's go back to our face, Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer, the same one we used to prime our lids. And I'm just gonna put this where I usually do. I'm gonna use my Eco Tool sponge. It is damp. This is the smaller one. I'm just gonna pounce this into the face. Just be careful of your wing. I'm gonna go in with my concealer brush. And I'm just going to get that concealer as close to that wing as possible. And I'm just going over it very lightly, just pressing it into the skin. Using that same Revlon translucent pressed powder, if I could find it. And I'm just going to pat this underneath the eye. And anywhere you just don't like to get oily. So I hate getting oily like right here. Which I'm sure you guys all know because I tell you all the time. And around my mouth. And I don't like it on my chin either. Makeup Revolution Luxury Baking Powder. This is in the shade Banana. I'm going to take it on the lid. In the lid, I should say. Pick up that Baby Eco Tool sponge. Get it on there. I'm going to pat this into the sponge. So patting the excess off into my hands. And I'm just going to pat this all over my skin. And now my entire face is set. I wanted to use my Maybelline Snap Scara because I have it in a plum color. And I thought that would be fun, but I can't find it. So I'm going to have to use my Colab, which this is also a great mascara. Wow Effect All-in-One Mascara. Oh my god, I stabbed myself in the eyeball with my mascara wand yesterday. And girlfriend, it hurt for like a really long time. Look at those lashes. I love them. Okay, so now... We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna move on to the rest of the face and then we'll come back to the eyes and just, you know, throw some jewels on because I feel like that's definitely necessary, especially since this is a look inspired by Euphoria. A lot of rhinestones on the eyes, so that's what we need. Duh! The Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer. This is in the shade Bikini Contest on a fluffy brush. I pat the excess off on the back of my hand because this bronzer can sometimes be a lot for me. It's a little too warm for my skin tone but we're gonna go with it today because it does match the eye look it matches that warm orange i just don't want to look like an oompa loompa so i'm using it on a fluffy brush this way it blends out nicely it's not too concentrated and i'm patting this and then swiping it bringing it down the neck And just bring it down the sides of my nose just to bring the nose back into the face. I don't want it to look so flat. For blush today, I'm going to be using my Colab Beauty. This is the Soft Spot Sheer Blush in the shade Just For Fun. I feel like this gives a nice light wash and it won't take too much away from the eyes. Morphe E53. I'm just going to keep it to the cheeks. I want the center of the face. I just want the eyes to pop the most. So I'm going to bring it over the nose as I usually do. But I'm not going to bring it all over this time. I want to keep it a little bit more defined today. I'm going to go into my Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Blossom Glow. I've used this so many times on my channel. This is just my favorite, one of my favorite highlighters of all time. If you're talking about affordable, high-end, it doesn't matter. This is really amazing. And this is a really fun highlighter too because it is pink and it's super bright. I'm going to put some down the bridge of my nose, on my chin. I want that to pop a little bit more, so I'm going to spray my face using my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray to set it and then make that highlighter really pop. One more time. See? Blinding! Oh my god, I love it. It's so fun. 
I love how this makeup came out. I'm so excited, guys. Honestly, I need to do wings more often and practice. Let's use the Almay Lip Vibes in the shade Worry Less. And then I'm gonna line my lips afterwards. This is like a pinky purple. I really love this color. NYX Suede Matte Lip Liner in London. That's the shade. Maybelline Blushing Beige. I'm just gonna pop this in the center of the lips. Right here, and then I take my finger I'm gonna pull it out. This also kind of gives a 90s vibe, so if you're into that, I'm into it. I'm gonna take a clear lash glue. This is the Duo 2-in-1 Brush On Strip Lash Adhesive, and no, I'm not putting falsies on. I'm using this to put jewels on my face and bedazzle my lower lash line. I got these jewels. On Amazon I will link them down below for you guys super affordable I'm gonna take a mix of jewels here I think I'm just gonna put three on the bottom okay I put some studs on this eye and I think I figured out how to do it don't quote me on this guys though this is very new and I don't know if I'm doing this right so I'm taking the lash glue and I'm putting it on my skin to start I'm not putting it on the rhinestone because I noticed when I tried to put it on the rhinestone it just like I couldn't get it to stick on my eye so I'm putting one right here I'm picking it up on this thingamajig I got off of Amazon as well. I'll link it down below. And then I'm placing the jewel. It's really subtle. It's super subtle. I love it though. This is so fun. Oh my God, I'm having so much fun. All right, now I'm gonna go underneath the middle of the eye with that same rhinestone, just a different one, obviously. Nice, all right. And then I'm taking one more that's a little bit bigger. Voila, guys. Oh my god, I love this so much. I'm so excited. I really hope these rhinestones stay on my eyes. But this is the finished makeup look. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. This is definitely something a little bit different to my channel. Um, so let's just take a moment of appreciation to applaud ourselves for this different, cool, very innovative makeup look. This is definitely not in my comfort zone, but I am so inspired by this makeup look that I want to do more crazy looks like this. I mean, I don't know. This isn't like totally crazy, but I feel like it wasn't hard. So I feel like if you are aspiring to be a little bit more creative with your makeup, this is definitely a great way to start. And this hopefully will be the first step into some more creative looks for me. All right, guys, I love this so much. I already told you enough. I don't need to repeat myself, but I'm so excited for this look. I can't wait to show Mike. I hope Mike loves this. Him and I watch Euphoria together, so hopefully he'll be excited about this makeup look because he did say that the makeup was pretty cool, and I did want to see if I could, you know, come up with something that's my own spin and take on those amazing makeup artists who have killed it in every single episode. I just leave that show with the biggest makeup inspiration Ever. I will put the two makeup artists, their Instagram handles down below. You guys should totally check them out. They definitely did inspire me, so I did want to give a shout out to them. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you enjoyed this different, spicier makeup look, be sure to leave me a thumbs up down below. This way I know that you're interested in seeing some more fun makeup looks like this. Also, please subscribe if you are not yet subscribed. We have over 300 subscribers. I'm so excited. And guys, it helps me out a lot. So if you do watch my videos and you haven't hit the subscribe button, and yet please be sure to do so I would love to have you and also click that bell button right next to it this way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a video here on my YouTube channel I had a great time as always I can't wait to show off this makeup look to the world thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one bye finders Mwah.